Speaking of great opportunities, Senator Marco Rubio. Marco, how in the world are you, my friend? Good, Bill. How are you doing? Fantastic. Congrats. I don't know if we've had a chance to talk since the election, maybe briefly. Congratulations. So glad you're there. How's it going? Well, it's uh, it's an interesting place, I can tell you that much. And um, it's been a slow start to the year on the issues, but I, I think that the issues are going to come find us here pretty soon. As you know, the federal government is running out of money. It's asking to borrow another $1.5 trillion this year to fund the general operations of government, and we're going to have a big fight about and a big debate about that here pretty soon because it's not just about the debt limit. It's about you know the role of government in our country and, and what kind of country we want to continue to live in. How are you finding the Senate? I mean, Harry Reid is what Harry Reid is, but I think that the temperature may have changed on your side of the Congress as well now. Well, I think there's much more of a commitment and a reminder of, of what you know, Republicanism should be about. So I think there's a higher level of commitment among Republicans in the, in the Senate to fight for the principles of limited government. And maybe some of that has been kind of weathered down uh, through either time here or, or just through compromise. So I think you've got to, you know, we've reinvigorated a bunch of guys who came here uh, to fight that cause and then maybe over time and kind of, um, I don't want to use the word lost their way, but certainly become, you know, discouraged by the direction the debate was going. So I think you're seeing a lot of that in the House, and, and I think you're going to start seeing that in the Senate as well. What's the biggest challenge you're facing right now on the Senate side, Marco? Well, I mean, personally, it's just the place moves very slowly, and it's a place that values seniority, and the longer you've been here, the more influence you have. And if you've only been here eight weeks, well, then your influence from the formal perspective is not very great. On the other hand, I ran on what I believe is a very powerful platform. It's one that uh, a lot of other people ran on as well. That is that this country's headed in the wrong direction. It's headed in that direction fast. And if we don't change direction, we are going to diminish the status of our country and, and, and everything we love about it. And so, as I said, those issues, I think, start first and foremost with this debt debate that we're going to have because it is central to all the other issues that we're confronting. Very good. Marco, I've got about a minute left here, and I want you to be able to leave this audience with the message you have for them today. What's first and foremost on your mind, and what's the best way for this audience to interact with you and your office? Well, if you go on the website, uh, whether it's MarcoRubio.com or our formal Senate website, it gives you all the ways to communicate with us, and it gives you all the numbers to the different regional offices we have around the state, and we're taking our constituent service aspect very seriously. But the one message I would leave them is that what's happening in Washington now is really a generational-type debate. It, this is not just some other political fight between Republicans and Democrats. It is at its core a debate about what the role of government should be in our country going forward. And and more importantly, you know, whether we're going to deal with this debt issue or not, because if we don't, America will be diminished. It doesn't have to be that way, but we've got to act now. And I hope to be a part of a group of people that will help lead that charge uh, with the support of the folks back home that are listening. I'm grateful to everybody. I'm blessed to be here. It's a tremendous honor, privilege to serve them in the U.S. Senate. I hope I'll work hard to do a good job. All right, very quickly, you became a rock star real quickly when you got to Washington, Fox News, CNN, and everybody else, and there are already mentions of vice presidential. I'm thinking beyond that. It's got to be <laughs> tough for you to focus on your job, Marco. Yeah, well, it's not because we focus on the job. That's stuff that people talk about. There's this whole industry in politics that's, you know, the pundit class, and they spend around all day spinning themselves, but I don't have the luxury of doing that. I've got a very important job. Florida deserves to have two senators that are full-time focused on the issues of our state. Okay, that's a great answer. I've got one more important question. Yeah. How, how's your family? Do you have them up there, and are they settled, and how are they doing with all this? Well, they're not up here yet because they're in school. You know, the school year doesn't end until August. Right. But I've been able to get home, you know, every Thursday night and come back every Monday. So we've been able to balance that pretty good. Fantastic. Marco Rubio, we've got to run. Thank you. Appreciate it. Look Thank forward you, to seeing you when we can. Absolutely. All right, Senator Marco Rubio, thanks for the time.